Tyler from Aspire Sports, and we have some breaking news. Calvin Ridley will not make the trip to London this week for the game against the New York Jets due to a personal matter. Now, I didn't really look into this a whole lot, see what's going on. I'm just looking at this in terms of fantasy football, so he's not going to play this week. So what to do if you have Calvin Ridley? Are some of these other guys viable? Uh, what's the outlook for Mike Davis, maybe Cordell Patterson? So I make new content like this every single day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the video. So first off for Calvin Ridley, if you have Calvin Ridley, it's been a little bit disappointing. He was on my buy list this week, and right now you have him. He's not playing this week, which is not good because this was a good matchup, a good matchup against the New York Jets. So now there's a couple options we have here. The first one, I mean, the first two guys that I really want to play this upcoming week. Now, I think if you have them, you need to be playing them first. I like Mike Davis a lot this week. I talked about in this video up above. You can check that out. Why I love Mike Davis this week. He's the only there's four guys, four running backs that have uh, are top 20 in carries and then also top 10 in targets. There's four guys, Mike Davis. Austin Eckler, Najee Harris, Saquon Barkley. So Mike Davis is seeing the volume, just hasn't had the explosive games that we've seen out of Cordell Patterson yet. Uh, but I would fire him up this week 100%. I think that he'll see a little bit of an uptick in the receiving game now that Calvin Ridley's not there. Cordell Patterson now becomes very viable this week. And if you had him, chances are you're probably playing him. And now you're absolutely playing Cordell Patterson this week in fantasy football. He needs to be in your lineups. The next guy, we have Russell Gage. Russell Gage has not practiced. He hasn't played, at, I think, since week two. Um, he has not practiced this week so far. Uh, we can see what the injury report says today. So if he misses, obviously he's not an option. This boosts Kyle Pitts, in my opinion. Move Kyle Pitts up the ranks a little bit here. Uh, and then you have really two guys that you're kind of looking at. I don't really have interest in, I think his name is Christian Blake. I could be wrong. I don't have a Christopher Blake, possibly. I don't have any interest in him. Uh, the two guys now that we're really looking at possible. Uh, you have Zacchaeus on the outside, really hasn't done anything this season. But in games that we saw uh, last year, there was a couple games where both these guys missed. We had Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley. He was a little bit productive. And then we have a preseason darling a few years ago and Taji Sharp, I believe is what his first name is, Ajay. I, I could be wrong about his first name, but now he becomes a little bit viable, but really these guys, I wouldn't put them inside the top 40. They're staying outside the top 40 at the wide receiver position. So if you probably have better options on your team right now, um, guys that I would say, like I would definitely play over him are like guys like uh, AJ Green, uh, Christian Kirk, um, guys like obviously Emmanuel Sanders. Like those are all guys that I would definitely play over any of those guys. I like Cole Beasley. So if you have like, don't even consider playing those guys unless you're absolutely desperate or like really need a roster spot in deep leagues. They become maybe a little bit viable. If you have any questions, drop it down below, but this is big news. Unfortunate news. If you have Calvin Ridley, but stay away from the other guys, but put up, they, they should move up your ranks. Mike Davis, um, Cordell Patterson, Kyle Pitts all need to be in your lineups this upcoming week. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.